Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for, what is it, the 16th? The 16th. So, Sunday the 16th into the 17th. This is for all signs. We're just going to see whatever comes up. Mm. Now, there's a challenge here because this came out sideways. <laughs> a challenge. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn may be challenging you in some way. All right. Or challenging a situation. Um, hmm. You're teetering. Teetering between security and insecurity. I don't know which way to put that, whether I should put it upright or reversed. Somebody's securities are being challenged. That's what this is. Somebody's devotion is being challenged or a, a person, you know, uh, probably an earth sign, obviously it could be another person, but is, is challenging something. I'm going to put it back in the deck because I don't know if I should put it upright or reversed, but because that's exactly what this is. We don't know. It's very unstable. Something is unstable. There's, there is an opportunity here. There's an opportunity here that could lead to something stable, but it's being challenged. Interesting. I'm going to put it back in there. Somebody may be trying to make the best decision, but who knows? That's it, exactly. Who knows? Is this the right decision or not? Okay. Is this the best uh, for my... Uh, hold on. Sorry about that. Somebody has let go of an idea, okay? I'm taking a break. I'm taking a break from this situation so that I can deal with these thoughts, deal with these feelings. Indecision. Offer of love. Trying to avoid a disaster. Oh, yeah. So it does. It feels like somebody is trying to avoid a disaster and needing to take time to think about this. So I need to take time to think about this. Maybe they've already avoided a disaster. They have two paths. Okay, you have two choices. You have two choices. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Um, there is an offer here, though. There's a lack of, of closure in one situation. Somebody is still holding on. Interesting. Ooh, there's the sword of passion. Oh, and there he is. He wanted to come out upright. Well, go figure. He wanted to come out upright. Interesting. So let me get this focused in, or zoomed, or whatever you call it. Um, there's a passionate opportunity here. There's an opportunity for something that is very attractive, okay? There's an attractive opportunity that is pulling you in one direction. And it appears that you are trying to make the, the wisest decision for your own good. You're trying to make a very wise decision. There's absolutely, positively an offer of love. Could be from a water sign or an earth sign. Okay, it could be from any other sign, but water and earth. And it feels like somebody is, is really wanting a stable foundation. I mean, I, I kind of, I want this to be stable. I want this to be secure, but 
I'm really afraid as to which route I should take that's going to lead me to security. Um, somebody is lacking. Somebody's unable to let go of a situation. Not wanting to let something crumble. I don't want this to crumble. So, and they're holding on. They're holding on for like dear life with the death card reversed. But this is, this is, it needs to crumble. It needs to be dropped. It's, it's, it needs to be let go of because it's, it's, there's something with it that is very heavy. So why would you hold on to it? With the Ten of Wands reverse, it's like somebody needs to make a conscious change. Or maybe somebody has made a conscious change and now they don't want to let go. I mean, the Ten of Wands reversed is, is somebody has decided to change. You know, I've decided to drop this baggage. I've decided to drop this burden. Even a grudge, I've decided to drop it. I've decided to drop it because I don't want this to end. I don't want this to end. So I feel like somebody is unable to let go of a situation that has been very unstable, okay? And now perhaps they have, a, they have an offer, okay? They have an offer because they're unable to let go. Um, perhaps they want a passionate new beginning. Some, and this, this could be somebody brand new, okay? This is a passionate new beginning that is too... You know, it's it's a it's a definitely getting your attention. Okay, this is an this something is getting your attention in a very very big way. Okay, and it feels as though you are needing to take a minute to think about this. Which direction? Which direction is going to be the right one for you? The new opportunity is the new opportunity going to be the best direction for you? Is it going to be the most stable direction? Is it? Because there's an opportunity for a uh, relationship here. There's an opportunity for love. Somebody has received a message or is receiving messages that are all about love. You know, it's all about love. I, I, I have love to offer you, and I think it's very welcome. Somebody is really welcoming these messages of love. But there's indecision. There's there's choices. Okay. There's indecision as to to which path to take. Do I take the the more passionate, exciting route, or I do I take the more stable, secure route? I mean, what's it gonna be? So I feel like somebody may have decided. I mean, if you look at this, I mean, this kind of looks like a death, right? And this is the death card, and they're both the same color, so they're very similar. They are. They really are. Um, As maybe one person has let go because this is the death of an idea. You know, I've, I've, I've decided that I have, it's time to let go of what I used to know, what I used to think. And it's time for me to follow my, my instincts. Okay. It's time for me to follow what I, what will allow growth in my life. It's time for me to accept this new passionate beginning. Okay, it's time for me to expand, okay? It feels as though somebody has decided to let go of what they once knew. But the person on the other end, okay, the person on the other end that they're letting go of is probably still holding on. So and that's why I feel like there's there's two there's two options. Well there is two options. It's do you stay or do you go? What are you what are you gonna do? You're definitely gonna have to make a choice. With this two of wands reverse, there's fear of change, there's somebody that is um, staying in a situation or wanting to, they're staying in a secure situation while the fire is burning inside of them for more passion. So just keep that in mind. Whew. There's definitely a very playful energy here today, okay? Very playful, and it could lead to something solid, but somebody may lack confidence that this is going to lead to something solid. So they're they're in their head. They're in their head about is this the right direction for me to go in? Is this is this just going to be 
sexual or is it going to lead to something solid okay so I feel as though you know there's indecision as to whether I should actually um, jump and accept this offer or should I stay is safe or should I stay in the safe zone and not go there um, I feel as though somebody is probably uh, receiving messages and really liking it. I mean, these are welcome messages. They're welcome messages of love. And it, it is really sparking a, a flame within. It really is. There's a, there's a strong attraction here. There is absolutely a strong att attraction. Um, somebody is lacking confidence in... A new beginning okay they're lacking confidence in foundations you know I'm lacking confidence in believing that this will even be solid you know somebody isn't believing that this these offers are genuine but I think they are I think they are general genuine and I feel like there's a lack of courage to allow this new beginning there is I feel like I mean this this ten of wands is letting go of the baggage letting go of it just let it go let go of those fears because this is fears you need to let go of those fears let go of those um, the lack of self-confidence or the lack of confidence let go of the worries let go of the fear of the unknown okay just just Expand. Allow yourself to expand. Stop holding on to the baggage from the past and thinking that everything is going to fall apart because there's a there's an offer of love that is 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 truly I think is truly genuine. Okay, it's coming from the heart. It's coming from the heart. Um. I don't know if this is somebody new. I do. I mean, I, I, it, well, that is somebody. It could, I mean, I hate to keep people stuck in the past, okay? I mean, I don't see any past here. I don't see any past here. Of course, it always could be. It always could be somebody from your past. But I feel like this is a, a new passionate beginning being offered to you that has room for growth, that has room for expansion. Um, and you have to make a choice. You have to make a choice between two options. Do you stay holding on to your fears? Do you stay holding on to this, whatever it is that you're holding on to? Or do you take that leap? Do you, do you accept that passionate offer? Do, you know, do you accept that love? Now, there's definitely a lot of, um, there could be a lot of texts going back and forth, you know, words of, you know, a lot of charm, a lot of, a lot of charm is, is being put out there. Okay. You're dealing with Prince Charming. That's for damn sure. And, um, you may feel like you don't have the strength to deny this. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Whew. So, yeah, this, this is uh, so it's amazing. Somebody is absolutely reluctant because of fears. Reluctant to accept. I'm reluctant to accept because of fears. But there's an opportunity to start a major new beginning. Okay, this is like the universe is trying to push you in a new direction. The universe is giving you this new beginning. It's giving you this offer saying, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready to go through that door? Here it is. Okay, here it is. Are you ready for this new phase? Are you ready? Have you truly le learned your lesson? Because the world card is a lesson has been learned. Or are you going to keep holding on? Are you going to be reluctant? Are you going to stay in your fear? Are you? 
what are you going to do? You're going to stay in your fear and, and hold on to something that is getting old and is dead. It's just a fear. There's an opportunity for a major new life. I think it's with someone new. Because here we have somebody holding on to a dead end. Needing to release it. And then we have this new passionate offer, messages, connection, this new passionate connection. <laughs> Screaming stability, security, soulmate connection. Definitely a soulmate connection here. So I think, think that there is a new soulmate connection and you have to make a decision. Do you stay in your fear or do you accept? Oh, jeez, I'm crow. It's love. It's love. It's the beginning of a love story. One phase of your life is over. Stop holding on to whatever it is that you've been holding on to. Them damn crows. It's done. Something is done. We're going to get one of these. It's about love. Today is about love. This is love. Love, passion. It is. It's exciting. It is exciting. It absolutely is very exciting. You need to you need to drop those fears. Whatever happened in the past, drop it. Just drop it. Don't bring it. Don't bring it into this. Okay, that was then. That was whoever that was that hurt you or whatever that whatever. Let it go. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. There's a new connection here that is I think it's a soulmate connection. Ooh, turn on your heart light. Allow yourself in this moment to reflect on a time when you experienced love. Don't, don't look back at the hurt. Love, it's all about love. Only, it's only about the love, okay, at this point. Allow this new offer to, to grow, okay? Allow this new offer to grow. Oh, my goodness. And on the bottom, get to know each other. Get to know each other. Let this new person in, please. Get to know each other. Learning to meet another's need for love is important for a relationship to grow. We were just talking about it, let it grow. I mean, this is what this is. There's an opportunity for growth, passion, excitement, and love. Accept, accept. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Leo, that's reversed. Scorpio, Leo and Scorpio, they're both reversed. Scorpio reversed again. Uh, what else do we have? What else do we have? But we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio upright underneath here as well. So, whatever. And these are, whatever. I'm not going to go through the signs. It doesn't matter what sign you are. Everybody asks. It really doesn't matter. There's a soulmate connection here that is meant to be started. Okay, it's meant to start. Here's your here's your 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 new life. And what more can I say? Don't let the fears of the unknown 
and the past baggage and the past turmoil that you have been through hold you back from this new beginning. Face your fears or you're going to die alone. Talk to you later. Or, or stay with the wrong one, right? I mean, that's basically dying alone. When you stay with the wrong one, that's lonely. Talk to you later.